Well, good morning, friends. It is Sunday morning. Maze woke me up today. He needed to have a shower, so everybody's still sleeping. It's just about 10 after 8 in the morning. But yeah, it's snowing out, and it's supposed to continue snowing. Today is supposed to be the day that we have Mazai's birthday party, but I don't know if anybody's going to be able to make it. I'm still going to make pizzas and all that stuff, but yeah, I completely understand if people don't end up making it. I'm just making my coffee now. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Jeez. Anyways, I'll be back. I need to have my morning coffee and wake up a bit. Alright friends, i got to get this show on the road. It is 10 after 10 and I need to start this. I got this big batch pizza dough. I've made videos on this. I've brought you along with birthday parties. This is the one I always do. I can get five pizzas out of this one recipe. Usually when I have a big birthday party, I just don't know about today if many people... I'm only going to make five pizzas. I'm not going to double it. I got this recipe from Noreen's Kitchen. I seen Heather from the Needy Homesteader who got it from Noreen's Kitchen. Works perfect and I get five pizzas. It, her recipe says three to four pizzas, but I get five pizzas out of it because I like thin crust pizzas. And anyways, I have my yeast in Cornelius's bowl, my stand mixer's bowl. Put a little pinch of sugar in there and I'm just letting it activate for 10 minutes. And I have my flour uh, measured out, olive oil, and um, yeah, two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, I'll put her video down below. I have one too. I'll try to put us both down, but if you actually go watch Noreen's, let her know that uh, you found her from me if if you want. If you don't have to, it's okay too. I just, I watch her every once in a while. I used to watch her all the time, but I've just been so busy it's hard. But she has a lot of good recipes and is a, a super cook, super cook. So anyways, I'm going to get this rolling and uh, we need to get some dough rising. All right, friends. Well, I needed it for the amount of time. Maze had a shower this morning. He's all spry. Anyways, I just turned it out on to the table, kneaded it a couple times, put it in a bowl. I, I'm just reusing Cornelius's bowl so I don't dirty another dish. Drop some olive oil in here so it's not going to be sticking to the sides. And I'm going to let this rise for at least a half hour or so. I could have added spices and stuff to it, but I'm just keeping it plain. I'll dress it up nice and fancy when it's time to dress the pizzas. So I'm going to clear this table off and I'm going to get Misha icing the cake. Good idea? That's pizza dough. That's pizza dough. You're not icing pizza dough. Is it time for the cake? Well, it's almost time to ice it. Well, he loves you. Alright, Misha, take the plastic off. I made this last night. You guys have seen me make this cake. It's extreme chocolate cake with the boiling water in it at the end. I'll, uh, yeah, I think the last time I made it was in December for my husband's birthday. But Misha, what I want you to do, I'll get you a plate. You go all around the edges. Misha's my cake decorator, her icing. Her. I cake decorator. Yeah. You gotta go bit by bit. I, I um. I greased it really good, and then let me see for a second. I gotta do all around the middle too, because it'll hang on there sometimes. Yeah, I'll get you to flip it over in just a second. But this is a really good moist chocolate cake. Let me get a plate, and Misha can be the flipper. 
So, no, just a minute. I'm going to show you what to do. Put it here, put it here, and then you try to flip it over. Oh, you got to hold the plate and the cake dish all at once. It's tricky. She's never done this before. Yep, that's how you do. Oh, perfect. Now put the plate down on the table. Yeah, you can. Come on, you can do it. Perfect. Now, sometimes before you take it off, yeah, you just tap it. I find it's good with this. Just, just easy, not hard. It's like making a sandcastle maze. Oh, no, it didn't. We've got to give it a minute. Gotta give it a minute. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay, now try it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it kind of caught in the middle, I can see there, but that's okay. We'll cover it up with icing. It's nice and moist and ooh, good, good, good. So we're gonna dig the icing out and Misha will start icing it for me. How was it? Good. Yeah, well, just do the outsides and the top. I can try to work with the middle. But yeah, we're using store bought icing because I had it in my pantry. It's probably more icing than we need, but I want to use it up. That's okay. She'll get it all iced up, get getting her face on. <laughs> but yeah, you just do the best you can do because uh, it's always perfect when you do it. Well, I'm getting Misha to wrap up some presents for me. Good, good, good. What's a birthday without a surprise or two? And Misha, I'm going to get May start putting the Smarties on the cake, okay? While you do this. Well, I'll keep some out for you to put on. All right, it's just he's too little to wrap presents. I do like your wrapping technique. It's like you have three hands with your foot. <laughs> oh, we're just going to wait for Misha a few minutes, but this I got a big bag of Smarties this time. I'm just going to dump it in the bowl and dress it up so it'll look fancy. Yeah, you can One of those professional cakes. You can open it? Can you open it? It's kind of tricky. Yeah. It's kind of tricky. Oh, you do. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, we got it open. May's dumped it in the bowl for me. Oh, they're shiny like they've been sitting in the kitchen too long, but they're okay. They'll be perfect for the cake. Right, Maze? Yeah. She's not here yet. No, she's not here yet. She went to a friend's house yesterday, so she, Dad's going to go get her. Messiah, I'm talking. Messiah. Stir it up. So I gotta get that table washed off before the pizza dough's done rising. Oh, we have to wash our hands. Oh, you gotta make sure your hands are clean. But I don't want to make the meat. Alright, they did a fantastic job decorating this cake. Look at this. Lots of Smarties. Lots of Smarties. And there's a little section for people that don't like as many Smarties, so that's perfect. It's including everybody. 
Ah, oh, wonderful. Now I'm going to get this. It's too hot to keep in the kitchen here. All the Smarties will slide off. I'll go put it out in the laundry room with a cover on it. Wipe the table off because we're going to start working with that dough here shortly. All right, guys, that dough is almost ready to be worked with. I just wiped the table off. I'm digging out pizza toppings. That's pepperoni, some ham. But I'm going to shred up this mozzarella in my food processor. So let's get moving. Okay, I can't shred this one up yet. It was in the freezer and it's too hard to cut. But the other one's all ready to go. All right, friends. That dough's been rising in about 45 minutes. I just got busy. So that's okay. Gotta get an apron on because it's gonna get messy around here. This is one of Mally's aprons. It has donuts on it. My husband just left to go get Mazaya from our friend's place and dropping Marquise off uh, to get his throat looked at. He has a couple of white spots on the back of his throat. So, jeez. Oh, So you're going to have to hold on. Alright, let's get this party started. I have a little flour here. I know my head's cut off. Oh, my hands are clean. I have all the... Oh, I don't have it all. I canned the other day, re, re All right, let's get it going. My hands are really clean. You can see this dough has risen. It's kind of a sticky dough. Well, that's too bad, Nisha. I need to get this going. It is 11.32. So. I need to cover my hands because this gets real sticky. Okay, get a bowl. There's a chair. I've got a flower on my hands or it really sticks to my hands. But this is a really good pizza dough recipe. I haven't found one to replace it. Like I don't, I'm not on the hunt for one, but when I make homemade pizza. Ooh, be careful, Misha. We're going to cut this, well, I originally cut it into four pieces, and then with the little bits that I get from the other pizzas I roll out, um, I make a fifth pizza. So, we'll see. I'm in a rush, guys. I feel like I'm, I'm behind schedule, but it'll work out. The party is from one to three. I'm really hoping somebody can make it, but if not, we'll still do the party. Won't we, Mish? Let me just put that in there. Misha, get your breakfast if you're getting breakfast. You gotta move that cereal box. I use a rolling pin to roll it out. I remember when mom made pizza, she always made it from the box, and those are good too. But we never used a rolling pin. I've seen, I forget if Noreen did it or somebody else did it, and I'm like, that's so much better. Like we would just do it with our fingers to try to spread it out. I'm not one of those professional pizza makers. But you can see how elastic -y this is. I'm going to make a couple of Hawaiian pizza. Oh, Misha, get those Cheerios. A couple of Hawaiian pizzas, probably a cheese pizza, and then a couple of works pizzas. 
or maybe a pepperoni pizza and a works because last night I didn't film it I took some pictures I cooked up a package of hamburger and um, some onions and green pepper I'll put those in here five of these little pizza pans and I got these from the dollar store Dollarama they're perfect because they have those holes in them perfect they're not great big pizzas I do have a couple of big pizza pans but see there's always a little bit left over the edge and that's what I make my fifth pizza with yeah and this is going to be a pizza eating day. I don't plan on making supper. There's leftover of this. They can have some veggies and more pizza for supper. It's okay with me. Yeah. And I just try to make a little crust here. And then we dress it up. Perfect. Look at that. I'm going to need a little more flour. doesn't look like a big piece of dough, but that's all you need. It really is. It's so elasticy. Get this going. And the cake's done. The presents are wrapped. That's great. Yeah, I'll have to get some more flour for the other pizzas. Gotta do this quick or it tears. And I mean, if it tears, that's fine. You can get it stuck back together, but. Yep, yeah, see, there's a hole in it right there, but that's okay. And those pizza pans, I don't know what size they are. They're like the frozen pizza round pizzas that you buy at the store. It's not a perfect circle, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. This is really an easy supper if you were to do it. It's just to, if you have the workspace to make your own dough and prep the ingredients. I know um, you can put the onions and peppers on raw. I like to saute them a little bit to soften them up. They still have a little bite to them, but I like to, I like to do that. And sometimes I put sausage. I'm not putting any mushrooms on here because the kids don't want to eat mushrooms on it. So that's fine. It's a kid's birthday. There's the second one. Oh, my back. Let me get some more flour. See, there's another little scrap for the fifth pizza. Just do this. I'm supposed to have Manly to Halifax tomorrow for another dentist appointment, but it's given a snowfall warning, so if it's storming in the morning, we're going to have to reschedule because I don't want to chance it. Or if school's canceled, it's a no-go. We'll have to wait and see. She's not looking forward to it, but we've got to get it done. I wish they could have done all of that stuff. It wasn't a great big bunch of stuff, but it just the the length of the appointments. I suppose it's a way to make money, but they do such a that's a great place, you know. I'm sure they have an endless number of people that need to be seen. That right there. It's a little hole. Take that off.
Perfect, right to the edge. I like stuff right to the edge myself. And I should have my oven preheating at 350. I don't, but I'll get it going. Here's that other one. 1140. See, this doesn't take very much time. feeling lazy to be honest but I gotta get this done and sometimes I do games for little kid birthday parties but the past couple of years I just let them play because it's more work to do that and they like uh, just hanging out running around playing music having disco lights going and stuff just being together outside of a school environment oh my goodness my back Oh. So, I'm not worried about it. Oh, yeah, this will have some more on it. My dishwasher's going right now. It off. I got my fifth pizza dough ball. Yeah, took six cups of flour, three cups of warm water, uh, I think two tablespoons of yeast, uh, just a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar, and three tablespoons of oil, olive oil. There's the last one. Yeah, but it's not hard to make a double batch of this and have 10 pizzas if you're having a whole bunch of people. Come on, let loose. Loosen up. But, and Mazaya wanted garlic fingers. And I know how to make garlic fingers, but I knew today would not be a good day to do that because the cake and the pizza and stuff. So I bought like the frozen garlic fingers. They're out in the van still because it was bitter cold. So I got to get those and get those in the oven after to get the pizzas going. And they were on sale, luckily, $2.99 a box. I bought three boxes. Whether I do the whole three boxes or not, we'll see. And that's just enough dough for that fifth pizza. Just enough. Perfect. So I'm going to get this other stuff laid out and ready to rock. I'll assemble it and then I'll bring you back. All right, I have it lined up like this. I'm gonna open the pizza sauce. I got cheese, some pineapple, some scrambled hamburger seasoned up, some onions and peppers, some cut up ham, and some pizza light, pizza pepperoni. And that's what's gonna go on it. So yeah, let me get you set up and we'll start rocking and rolling. All right, oh, you're crooked again. I've got everything laid out here. Uh, yeah, that's just the pineapple and stuff right there. Oh, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna do this. It's starting to rise again, but that's normal. I'm not gonna be able to get all these in my oven at once. And I could heat this up, but I'm not gonna. I don't want it to be too saucy, but you don't want it to be all dried out either. I'm not going to need all that sauce. I just got some out just, just to be safe. Okay. Nope, that's not what I want. Well, I have a big one of these little brush things, or you can use the back of a spoon. 
just to put the sauce all over. And I like to get it almost to the very edge of the crust because you don't want dried oat crust either. That needs a little bit more. Perfect. I got my oven preheating. Do this one. And get these two going. And I think we bake it 15 to 20 minutes at 350. I'll know after the first go around. Because sometimes it can be finicky with each oven. Store-bought pizza, takeout pizza is fantastic, but it's really nice to have homemade pizza sometimes. And you can make this dough, I've never done it before, you can make this dough and freeze it. Oh, my phone's ringing. Just hold on a minute. Might be my husband. And I'm always worried because of the roads, just a sec. Oh, that was Nzalia. <laughs> she uh, called to see if they're supposed to wait in town for Marquise or not. I said, no, you guys come right home. And, um, yeah, Marquise will call when he's done. My husband will just have to go get him because you never know with oat patients here. It could take hours and hours and hours, or it could take one hour. But I don't want to chance it. My baby girl needs to be here for her birthday party. So, yes. Oh, this is good. This is good. So I'll probably have to use the rest of this jar too, but I'll have one more jar I'll put back in the fridge. I could actually freeze it because I don't plan on making homemade pizza again for a while probably. That was one of the things I wanted to do as a freezer meal. I've seen people make pizza dough and freeze it. Jay Morrell is one of those people that do that. And I thought I could do that. And that would make making pizza, homemade pizza so much easier. I've never done it. I did make this pizza dough before because you can make it and let it rise overnight, like put it in a cold place and it doesn't take, or it, it takes a long time to rise, but yeah, that didn't work out so good either. I mean, the pizza worked out fine, but the container I had it in, it still rose quite a bit. It busted right out of the container. <laughs> so. I usually make it uh, the day of, but if I was to make freezer pizza crust dough, it wouldn't rise in the freezer, I wouldn't think. So that other pizza, or mozzarella, is still over there on the counter. I haven't shredded it up yet. Still too frozen. Maybe I won't need it, we'll see. I want to make these nice and cheesy. Nice and cheesy. Perfect. And since this is actual pizza sauce, like I often put Italian seasoning, or, oops, or oregano, sprinkle it on top of the sauce too. I'm not going to bother today. We'll see how it is. And we'll go from there for future for future references. I'll do these two and then I'll zip along. I'm going to make a Hawaiian pizza. The kids don't want onions and peppers on there. On a Hawaiian pizza and probably a works pizza. So I'll do the works one after I do this. I just cut up it's sandwich uh, ham and I'm thinking I canned that ham the other day. I could have used that. Just cut it up smaller but I had already bought this, so I'm going to use it. I, don't, I have another pack in the fridge. I can use it for kids' sandwiches this coming week. Not a big deal. So this is going to be straight up ham and pineapple. Lots of cheese. It's hard to break those apart. I don't care if they're doubled up or not. And I was debating on whether to saute this up too, but it's so thin and flimsy. I'm not going to bother. Oh, Parmesan cheese. I should have put that down too. Cheapers. Creepers, Tracy. 
I guess I'm not as on the ball as I thought I was going to be. I'll get that out for the next pizza. So I'll put the sauce and then some Parmesan cheese, then the other cheese, then the uh, toppings. You see this strainer? I remember mom had one and like we'd pretend that we were Martians. We'd put those on our heads and pretend that we were Martians from over space. The old school kind of strainers. Yeah, my kids love pineapple. Mar Mays doesn't so much, but my girls, oh. They always fight over who can get Mays' pineapple. Oh, my back. Oh. All right. This one will be the works. So, I'll put, I'm going to have more than enough toppings for this. I'll just use the leftover onions and peppers in some other dish this week. Not a big deal. And you can buy little sliced uh, pepperoni at the store, different brands, but we like the Pizza Light pizza, pepperoni. Pizza Light's a restaurant we here we have in the town, and it's not all over Canada. I don't know if it's in the States or not, but it's good. We don't go there often. We got a gift certificate this past Christmas from uh, my husband's brother's brother and family. I think over the Christmas break we used it, or used most of it. I think there's like 15 bucks or something left on it. So, yeah, I think I got like a big family size pizza and garlic fingers. and Oh, that's something else I needed to get or make some donair sauce. That's good with garlic fingers and good with pizza. But, oh gosh. I'm going to put another little, little bit of cheese on here just because I'm going to put the hamburger on top and it's nice to have the hamburger sitting on top of some of the stuff. Yeah, this is a lot of hamburger, but I can, because this is the only one, well, maybe I'll put hamburger and pepperoni, like a meat pizza. Uh, I can use this in so many things, not a big deal. So there, there's the Hawaiian pizza, and there's the Works pizza. Now, Works for me would have everything on it, except anchovies. I'm not a, well, I'm allergic, that's why I wouldn't have it on there, but this is kid friendly, and I'm going to get these in the oven and we'll start working on the other ones, so I'll be right back. Oh, just a closer up look. That's the works one. And that's the Hawaiian one. Yeah, I still got lots of work to do, Lucy. Lots of work to do. All right, here's the last three pizzas. I did one with ham, hamburger, and pepperoni, like a meat pizza, just a plain up uh, pepperoni pizza, and another Hawaiian one, because the kids love it so much. Um, if I was doing 10 pizzas, I'd do like a cheese pizza too, but yeah, my kids have kind of outgrown just plain cheese pizzas. So yeah, I decided to do this. The other two are in the oven. I put the timer at 15 minutes, just to try it, because I forget. I'm thinking that it only takes 16 minutes, but you can see in there. Oh, it looks good. It's risen quite a bit. So, anyways, I'll bring you back. All right, the first two are in the oven. 
they're just a little golden on the bottom, not too, too much. But I just put two more in, you can see. Perfect, perfect. And then I'll have one more to do. Mazari's back now, upstairs playing with Mally. Um, Misha and Mays are here in the kitchen, buzzing around. I'm just in the middle of cleaning off my table. All right, before I wipe my table off, I want to empty this so I can load up this and I can wipe all the counters and table and everything all off. So yeah, these are hot, but I got to get them away. All right, my kitchen is as clean as it's going to be. I swept, I wiped, and this is as good as it's going to get. But I have all the pizzas out except for one, the pepperoni ones in the oven. I sliced it. It's all ready to go. I think I'm going to use paper plates because I have some out of my prepping storage. But just one last thing i got to do. And, yeah, they're looking good, looking good. Yeah, paper plates and some Christmas napkins. That'll do. I just remembered. I forgot about those garlic fingers. Goodness sakes. Maybe I'll do that for supper time with any leftover pizza. Because I don't. The kids are all here and they all want pizza now and it's just about done. So they can gorge themselves on pizza and whatever's left over, they can have that and garlic fingers for supper. So, yeah. It's not going to go to waste. But I'm just having a carbonated water. Six minutes left on that pepperoni pizza and I'll ring the dinner bell. getting my keys. He just got home from getting Mosiah and he called so he had to turn right around and get him. I'm just going to give him a plate of one each. He's got a prescription so good to go. Perfect. This is Marquise's plate. It's kind of a jumbled mess but it's all pizza so it's good. It's good. All right, that took all of 20 minutes. That's all that's left. I don't like mine. I don't think Well, you don't have to have your other piece. So there might be enough left for supper. And if I do up a thing of garlic fingers. Do you want a pepperoni one? Yeah. Just put it there. He took a deluxe one or one that he didn't want. He didn't realize there's a pepperoni one. Okie doke. You do, I know. That's all right. There, so. Perfect. I'll wrap that up, put it in the fridge, and then we can have it for supper. If we don't have it for supper, guess what they're getting in their lunches tomorrow after school. Oh, yes. You can stick the candles in, Maze. We're getting the cake ready. Yeah, put it out, not right in the hole, put it like in the, right around the ring. Well, you could do that. We've got to poke them down a little bit. Well, yeah, why don't we try to put some uh, like over here and there and there. Perfect. <laughs> you can do it anywhere. Yes, you can. All right, that's the way to do it. Perfect. Can you go and tell the girls to come down? Because we're going to do the birthday cake so they can go out in the dining room. Oh, he did a good job. He put four right there. Cute. All right, Mally's going to bring the cake out. What type of it? What kind? Chocolate Smarty Cake. Most of the time it is. Yeah. Okay, Mally, you can bring them out now. Oh, you can't. Oh, 
All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Messiah. Put it in front of her. Happy birthday to you. Uh oh. One more. Perfect. Now we have to take it. This is ours now. Yep. No. All right, the kids are all upstairs playing. Just called them down because there's only about a half hour and then the party's over. Here's the prezzies. So you got some stuff to open up. I'll set you guys up so you can see. it's the next day after the birthday party we just kind of chilled and relaxed I had to I had to I was tired but it is Monday morning I was supposed to drive Manly to Halifax today but the roads are kind of slippery and stuff so I called I'm gonna call him again I called him left a message um, just to try to reschedule it and yeah it's 8 34 in the morning everybody's gone to school my husband's gone to work and I think Evie goes to daycare today so that's good I'm gonna have a whole day to myself um, yeah, but Messiah had a good birthday party, I think. I'm so glad some kids could come. Uh, it did pick up snow a little bit, but not too, too bad, but enough that the roads are still covered in snow. I've seen the snow plow go by this morning. But, yeah, I can't believe how fast she's growing, how fast all the kids are growing. Like, they, they, it seems slow sometimes, but then all of a sudden you look back and, holy, she's 10, well, almost 10. Tomorrow's her actual birthday. But, yeah, yeah, so, anyways, guys, I'm just sitting by the fire, it's nice and toasty, it's cold outside, but not as cold as it had been a couple of days ago, <clears throat> I plan on filming today, too, but I'm going to end this video now, and I want to uh, start a new one, because I want to try to cook supper on a wood stove today, but, anyways, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day, ooh, Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys. Well, I hope you didn't mind my blabbing along when I'm making that pizza. But I just love having you hanging out with me and stuff. So, with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.